ओके हाय राकेश आई वेलकम यू फॉर दिस इंटरव्यू ओके ओके सर राइट सो कैन यू इंट्रोड्यूस योरसेल्फ इन ब्रीफ गुड आफ्टरनून सर थैंक यू फॉर गिविंग दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी माई सेल्फ बीमागोनी राकेश आई हैव बॉर्न एंड ब्रॉटअप इन वारंगल बट करेंटली स्टेइंग इन हैदराबाद आई हैव कम्प्लीटेड माई पी जी इन एम सी ए फ्राम उस्मानिया यूनिवर्सिटी दिस इज अबाउट मी सर इट्स ओके so you have mentioned that uh, so you are skilled in python okay yes, so since how long time you are learning python uh, uh, since two months i'm learning python sir. okay very good so are you confident in that yes sir i'm sure yeah then let's have uh, some small questions on okay, this yes right? sir. yes sir. Okay. sure right uh, so you know python has interesting features yes, can sir. you tell me according to you you tell me explain me best five features of python sir uh, python has different features Uh, in my way, uh, there are best feature is it is easy to learn uh, compared to other languages. It easy to learn. The syntax of Python is very less, and it is portable. We can install it on any any platforms, and it is embeddable as well. Uh, it is high level language that is user friendly language, and it is object oriented language as well. So we can create the code as per object. Okay. Yes, sir. These are the main features. Okay. Very good. Nice. Then uh, yeah. So. Uh, you know variables in python right yes sir okay so you know how many ways we can assign the values to the variables sir we can assign the va- variables to multiple times okay. uh, data type variable is there uh, uh, data type identity variables are the types of variables so mm-hmm. we can assign uh, multiple variables and single value assign it as type acha so single value and multiple multiple values, values. okay Uh, so how tell me how to do single value and how to do multiple values so single values we can assign uh, like a equal to 10 mm-hmm. uh, this is a single value assignment example mm-hmm. so multiple types we can assign a comma b comma mm-hmm. c equal to 10 comma 20 comma 30 mm-hmm. uh, these are types of multiple values assignment so okay. we can assign it in a single line okay then for example i have three variables yes. and i want to assign two values will it work No, according sir. to you for example like you know a comma b equal to for a 10 comma 20 comma 30 will it work no sir no. why it will not work uh, because we are giving two variables we are giving three elements mm-hmm. so it it is a syntax error sir. so we can't assign three elements to a two variables okay uh, so do you know what is identity of a variable yes sir so when we use identity function like uh, id id function which gives a memory location or address location of a variable So, uh, for example, I have one variable. Two variables are there. Let me say x, y. Yes, sir. So both are storing same value. Yes, sir. Whether the identity is same or different. Uh, which are, we, the variables are different, right? So the storing of location is different. No, it is the same value, but the same value means its uh, location is same, sir. Same. Are yes. you sure about it? Yes, sir. Okay. For example, now I store three values. Okay. No, three variables. Okay. Same value. Then can I say the identity of all the variables is same? No, sir. That depends on the input function. Input For example, x ten, y ten, z ten. Yes, All sir. are ten, ten, ten only. Yes, sir. So id of x, id of y, id of z. Okay. So is it same or different? It's same, sir, because it's storing the same values. Same values. So doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. That's what you want to say. Yes, sir. Okay, right. Uh, do you know? Uh, have you idea on operators? Yes, sir. Can you tell me what are the various operators in Python? Uh, relational operators, mm-hmm. arithmetic operators, operators, logical operators, assignment operators, comparison operators. These are the types of operators. Okay, right. So, can you tell me, uh, explain anything about uh, any one operator uh, in relational? In relational. Yeah. I don't know, sir. Relational, acha, right. So, which operators you are familiar with? Uh, arithmetic. Hmm. Uh, logical operators so for example if i want to find power a yes, power b let's yes, say a and b are my variables yes sir so which operator i need to use uh, double star operator sir double are you sure about it yes sir okay nice all uh, right so are you aware of conditional constructs in python yes sir sure can you tell me uh, uh, constructs is a uh, to disturb the flow of execution of a program mm-hmm. uh, conditional constructs are uh, if if statement mm-hmm. else statement mm-hmm. elif statement mm-hmm. if, if nested if statement nested if statement yes, okay sir. so uh, what is the difference between using uh, if and else with if when we have to use sir if is a single statement sir when we use single condition or single statement we will use if statement uh, else is a breaking of the program uh, when we use else uh, before else we will use if statements if it not satisfy the if statement will automatically print the else statement can you show me one example for that yes sir sure yeah please
sir this is the example sir mm. so explain that clearly line by line what exactly it does so, okay so, so right. this this is the number sir mm. i mean uh, which is the input which uh, which i am taking mm -hmm. this is a condition okay if input is uh, divided by 2 mm -hmm. and it is equal to 0 what is that operator uh, it is a modulus sir. modulo what if it will give it gives reminder 0 reminder okay if so it gives 0 uh -huh. uh, it will print the number will uh, input number will be a positive number is it positive number yes sir positive number no 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 check it it is even number yes sir yes okay, even uh, even fine uh, even and odd sir right okay fine if it satisfies this condition mm -hmm. it prints even number okay. if it not satisfied automatically automatically it prints odd number odd number okay. yes sir so once go through with your program uh, can you tell me there is one small mistake syntax error where Syn can you Syn identify syntax error sir yeah, exactly that is correct yes. okay so uh, right so for example uh, you create one variable let me say x equal to some 10 something like that okay we said uh, you can write down 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 uh, x equal to 10 okay okay now tell me how to get the identity of a variable and type of a variable type Just of a variable print these two things okay okay sir. i need identity and i need uh, type also okay sir that it okay yes sir uh, right okay so what is indentation sir so indentation which we use beside the columns i mean it's automatically takes space for next statement uh, what is that basically why we use indentation sir so we use indentation to keep this statement inside the loop okay mm -hmm. so can i use different indentation values in the same block here sir ha huh. For example, you have written there one print, print statement, right? Yes, sir. So I will write one more print statement with different indentation. Will it work? No, sir. It not work. It gives an indentation error. It gives indentation error. Yes, sir. Okay, that is fine. All right. So, yeah, that is good. Yeah, come on, sir. Thanks. Okay. So, do you have idea on loops? Yes, sir. Why will use loops? sir uh, loops are uh, loops are basically used to repeat the uh, i mean when we want to repeat the single statement in a multiple times yes sir we want to repeat the statement uh, multiple loops. times can i repeat multiple statements or single statement at a time multiple statements as well sir. multiple statement also yes, sir. work yes sir okay so how many loops are there in python sir in python basically for loop and while loop is there actually you have for loop and while, while loop, loop. Yes, so what is the difference between these two can you say sir while for loop we, we use when uh, loops have to be iterated mm -hmm. on time that we use for loop mm -hmm. when we don't know that loop should be repeat, repeated mm -hmm. on time that will be used while loop what exactly mean by that uh, sir loop always depends on range function sir mm -hmm. so when we know that loop should be repeated number of times mm -hmm. on that time we will use for loop okay yes sir acha if that is not clear then you'll go for uh, while loop while loop yes sir okay so uh, like uh, yeah so one more thing is that you are using condition uh, in while loop yes sir okay so can you tell me what are the other two dif other differences between for loop and while loop i don't know sir so increment happens automatically in while loop yes sir we should uh, addition the numbers you have to specify right specify programmer has to yes, specify yes, things okay what is function uh, function is a group of codes sir block of codes actually okay right so what are the types in functions uh, sir function have uh, basically three types uh, mm -hmm. user defined functions mm -hmm. uh, inbuilt functions and mm -hmm. lambda functions okay so can you tell me uh, like you know about uh, A structure of a user defined function syntax can you tell me yeah user defined is starts with a def sir so what is the difference between a user defined function and a inbuilt function sir user defined function is basically created by the user or a developer mm -hmm. uh, when we want to use that function he will create that function mm -hmm. uh, inbuilt functions are which are normally available inside the application okay so they are directly ready available directly ready okay. available so can you tell me what are the specific types in inbuilt functions so inbuilt function we have a uh, Mm -hmm. count functions minimum functions maximum functions mm -hmm. addition functions mm -hmm. sum of functions okay so do you know about the string functions yes sir okay can you tell me any one of this uh, explain me any one of string functions you know uh, string functions like counting mm -hmm. indexing what it will do count uh, count means uh, how many letters inside the string mm -hmm. that will give the count of strings uh, what is length function Uh, length will gives a number of words, a uh, number of letters. Sir. Number of 
what is the difference between count and length? Count will give the complete the word number, sir. Word number. Achha, if you want a specific, specific string or substring or yes, sir. specific alphabet, specific you can count alphabet. With, uh, yes. Okay. Then, uh, in addition to that, what do you know? Uh, Which function you know? L strip. Uh, ah. L strips. Okay. Le, uh, what strip. will do? Strip. What L strip uh, strip will uh, remove the space beside uh, left side right side the uh, string space. Okay. Mm -hmm. So there are L strip R strip L strip L strip R strip strip. Uh, uh, strip will uh, remove space. B both side. Both, both sides. Side. What about L strip? L side will remove the only left side of the space. Uh, left side what of about R strip? R, uh, R strip will remove the only right side of the string. Okay. That's fine. Thank you, Rajesh. Thank you, sir.